today we're going to be talking about cedars and how to use them and when to use them. So first of all, what is a cedar? So a cedar is a vaginal suppository that you put inside your dough to bring her into heat. So um, these are designed for sheep but work really well for our dairy goats. Um, so why would you want to use a cedar? Uh, cedars are extremely helpful um, if you're time, trying to time your breeding. You might be trying to time your breeding because you have a driveway breeding scheduled and you need to her to come into heat on a certain day. Um, you might want to bring her into heat when you know you'll be home on the weekend and you can breed her. You can also use them for scheduling the, the end result. So let's say you know that you will be home over spring break. So you want to try to time her breeding with her giving birth when you know you'll be home over spring break. Those are some really good reasons and it's so handy and helpful. Um, another good reason would be you have a doe who's maybe having silent heats or you're not able to track them. So you wanna make sure that she comes into a full heat then you know exactly when it's going to be and you can get that doe bred. Um, so cedars have a lot of great uses. Um, you can maybe even use it for syncing up if you wanna breed a couple does on the same day. I have people who in my life who I know they actually cedar all of their does, so they know exactly when they're going to breed their whole herd, these does this weekend, these does the next weekend, and so on and so forth. So when you insert a cedar, it's going to stay in your dough for 14 days. The bag says five, um, but 14 days is what we want to do for our dairy goats. Um, then on day 14, we pull that cedar, and for us, about 48 hours later, she's usually in a full standing heat. You might see it as early as 24, um, but I have found that 48 hour mark to be just about perfect. Um, then your dough will be ready to go, whether that's driving her over to be bred somewhere else or ready to go with one of your own bucks. Um, so when I'm calculating out due dates in my head and I'm thinking, what when should I seed her this dough? I um, plan for 16, basically a 16 day window. So insert the cedar, wait 14 days, breed her 48 hours after that, now we're at 16 days. And I assume then her due date is going to be 145 days for my Nigerians, 150 for full size does, um, from that day 16, the day that she is actually bred. So this is a really simple process. I'm gonna show you the tools that we're gonna use and then how we go about inserting and pulling um, the cedars. So the supplies you'll need for seedering your dough are quite simple. First, you want a pair of gloves to protect your hands from um, any of the hormones in the cedar inserts. You're going to need the cedars themselves. These are made by Easy Breed. They're labeled for sheep, absolutely fine. You'll need the plastic applicator. Uh, these are very inexpensive and available at most feed stores. And then some lube. And that's it. So with the cedar, you're going to insert it with the tail shooting straight up down the channel so that the T is um, up and down as opposed to left to right. Add some lubricant to be polite. Make sure your dough is in a stanchion. And you're gonna insert, she's gonna act kind of like she's roaching. There we go. And angle it kind of up and then just release. And that's it. Da -da -da. So the tail will stick out like that. You can trim the tail um, if you think you might have a dog or another goat who's gonna chew on it and pull it out, but just leave enough um, tail for you to pull on when it's time to pull the cedar. After your cedar's been inserted, it's perfectly normal to have, for your dough to have mucusy discharge um, from her vulva. It'll kind of stick to her tail. Um, sometimes some poop might get onto the tail of the cedar and you can just gently, with maybe a warm washcloth, um, clean any of that off. Keep in mind that she's getting pretty tender back there, so be gentle. On the day it's time to pull the cedar, the process is very simple. Simply make sure you've got your gloves on and give a gentle tug. That's it, and I'll be sure to throw that in the trash. It's completely normal to have some mucusy discharge um, following the pull of the cedar. 
So some of the challenges you might have with cedars, um, or just some tips and tricks. Uh, sometimes they can be challenging in first fresheners if the first freshener is a young first freshener who's very small. Um, I have found sometimes cedars are not a good choice for those does, um, and I just need to, I could use them on her in her second um, second year of being bred, but sometimes they just are too big. Um, it is okay if they stick out a little bit, um, as long as the doe is not obviously in a, in a lot in a lot of discomfort. Um, another challenge is uh, the cedars have these cute little tails on them that can be very appetizing to uh, maybe your livestock guardian dog or to other nibbly goats, so they might pull them out. Um, if you do find, I mean, you should check every day that it's in, um, but if you do find it's come out and she's not showing any obvious signs of heat, like you've caught it within a day or in the same day, you can reinsert another one and stay on the same schedule. Um, I have had a doe lose hers um, at I think the 10 day mark, maybe it was the nine day mark, and she came into a full heat, and so I went ahead and tried breeding her anyway, and she can see. So, um, you know, don't have to throw out the baby with the bathwater. it could be worth trying if she's uh, lost the cedar and is obviously flagging and wants to go. One last thing to advise you on is some does get really cranky uh, as they have it in longer, I think because those hormones are really starting to go and they might not be so uh, kind to you on the milk stand. So be forewarned that they can get hormonal and moody just like us humans. So as always, have fun, best of luck, be willing to roll with the punches if things don't go exactly as you planned. Um, you know, goats have a way of doing that to us, but we just do our best effort and hope for the best. And I hope you have baby goats in your future.